so Inside Edition, I didn't even know Inside Edition still existed, to be honest with you. Um, I see people, well, first of all, I'll just say this in the post game. I've jumped some fares in my day. There were definitely times where the, the, the pockets were extremely light. And there have been both times of absolute economic necessity and also one or two times of uh, opportunism, petty, thrill-seeking opportunism. Um, but anytime I see somebody jump over uh, 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 one of the turnstiles at the NYC subway, I don't think they're robbing me. I blame I, them for the train uh, difficulty. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's why we're having a delay. I actually think to myself, Jesus, fuck, I really hope there isn't a cop around because they're such assholes about this. Yeah. The, the extent of which they cause me any inconvenience is I get anxious on their behalf. I do the look for them. I'm like, I'm literally while they're hopping it being like, oh, shit, dude, let me double check this for you. <laughs> um, but inside edition, of course, in the perfect expression of modern neoliberal media, has exactly the wrong reaction to this. And in a city where prices across every single category have utterly decimated, of course, the poor and the working class, but now, in fact, plenty of people who are like, you know, we've gotten to the category in some of these Brooklyn neighborhoods where it's like the people who are like, you know, I'm, an, I'm a brand strategist. What Like, the people who first gentrified these neighborhoods are like, I need to get the fuck out of here through this relentless process of class stratification of this city. We have apartments where oligarchs park money in and don't even live. I mean, we all know, if you're, I'm sure if you're here in the post game, we all know what the deal is. Does Inside Edition go to send a camera crew to talk to Michael Bloomberg? Does it go and try to ambush some Amazon representatives coming out of a meeting where they're trying to push through this scam deal in Long Island City? Does it stake out high rises in Brooklyn? Does it stake out uh, luxury apartments on the Upper East or Upper West Side or Lower Manhattan? No, it goes to Times Square and tries to harass people who undoubtedly are in an extreme position that they would even have to do this. If you use public transportation, obviously you're supposed to pay. But there is an epidemic across the country. People skipping out on Pause it. Yeah. Actually, not obviously. I believe in free universal public transportation. So sorry, Inside Edition lady. Wrong. Wrong premise. Wrong premise. An epidemic across the country. People skipping out on paying their fare. And it's no small thing. As Lisa Guerrero reports, it's costing good. cities Some of these, millions oh, I, of dollars by the in way, lost revenue every year. I love that dude year. with the track jacket. He just they walked hop, over it. That's duck, a good technique. They climb. Solid. You they gotta go hop right. And the hop, that was a good hop. Anything to Ooh, very athletic. I like that guy. Here in New York City, nice. the oh, that guy's just like, I was just so stepping bad, over this fucking. It cost $215 Ooh, million dollars in lost revenue last year. I think the duck under year. is a bad idea. Watch this guy just yeah, leaps duck over the turnstile. Uh, that guy's we got just caught great. you jumping. Why did you do that, sir? He goes back and pays. This is what you're supposed to do. Pay to get in like everybody else, oh, right? Oh, fuck but you. Fuck this, you. While we were talking to him, one, Hell yeah. two, three. Nice. They're fucking kids. Four. Here come the rest. Five. Aren't they six. kids? Sneak yeah, through these are like middle school door. students. This yeah, I wonder if they signed releases as a... But then opens the exit door and I here they come. Yes. One, yes. two, three, yes. four, Hell yeah. five, Correct. Six, more of this. More. Nice. No one seems Good job. to worry about getting caught. Yeah, who Good. Is fuck? Cops around? You guys are not cops, right? I'm no, sorry. we're not. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> MVP of cameras. the segment. Excuse me, sir. No, this guy's my favorite. Hey, get out my face, bro. Yeah. Don't touch me. Don't touch hey, me. This is on camera. <laughs> of all the things that, the her. worst problem was here at yeah, the oh crossroads my. of the world. New York Times Square is like, hey, an hey. epidemic. Don't respond Look, negatively to me trying to get you arrested. If you're crossing the world, don't go through Times Square. Evaders, close to one That's per true. minute. Watch as this young woman strolls through carrying her coffee. Why did you do that? Because I left my card at home. Others gave us right. plenty of excuses. If I had the money, I definitely would pay. I'm in a rush. I just That's not a, that is an excuse. I was to a train. This woman simply said she didn't care. So what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> yeah. Fuck are yeah. you gonna arrest me? Are you gonna give me a ticket? Get the fuck out of so her face. So what are you gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. Leave her alone, you fucking moron. 
Well, if a cop does catch you not paying your fare in New York City, the charge could be up to yeah. $100. Oh, they could treat you a lot worse. I love it. This is this is literally like could have been on the cutting room flo floor of RoboCop. Oh yeah, that is so. Dystopian. But this is like such fucking bullshit, like middle yeah. class moralism. I love that like nobody cares or feels any shame about it. Which hell you know, yeah. yeah, that exactly. was great. I like the solidarity attitudes. with everybody in that video so, besides yeah. the news team. Yes, solidarity with everybody. Fake even if news, even folks. If, fake news. Those people are doing what they're supposed to. Yeah, they were doing exactly what they were supposed to do, and they came with the they're fake good news. people. These are good people, These folks. <laughs> What do you think they're deplorables? I think they're good people. You say they're toll hoppers. I say that they're heroes of the city. I say they understand public transportation. I say they understand how public transportation. <laughs> I say they get the principle of public transportation. Look up a little place called Luxembourg. I don't like narcs, okay? <laughs> You've been a being a narc. Just leave them alone. They built a whole television segment on being a narc. Maybe it's <laughs> just physical. <laughs> It's f <laughs> they're just getting in shape. <laughs> Looks like good exercise to me. Yeah, maybe you should jump. Yeah, some maybe fares. you should jump a turnstile. <laughs> maybe you should get your cardio up and advocate for free public transportation. So I, I, lo I love the last one. I love I, that is my that is very New York. The flip technique. Like, oh yeah, I like it goes from like it's like yeah, I don't know, whatever, or get the fuck out of my face to like, what are you gonna do? Yeah. What are you gonna do? Who are you? You're not asking yeah, the questions. Yeah. I'm, yeah, asking, I'm the question. asking the questions. Like, oh, you want to do a segment on so yeah. And the fear of the news crew the whole time. Right, the interviewer like, like, oh my God. I, should God. Be I knew I would be attacked by a black woman if I did this. <laughs> Get me back to the studio. <laughs> I, wish he, I wish he hit that mic onto the tracks. That would have been oh. so awesome. Oh, <laughs> I, yeah, Dude, if that too. guy could have hit the mic on the tracks and somehow escaped, he's, he would be like enduring he MVP run, of the city. He should run for city council. <laughs> I'd vote for him. <laughs> I would door to door for him. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'd be like, it's the guy who smacked Inside Edition's mic. And people would be, probably have like, I mean, no, Mickey's doing an amazing job, so I'm sure she'll turn votes up. But I, I would guess he might have an incredibly high vote total. Right? Yeah. It's like, how do you motivate people who aren't usually motivated to vote? Have somebody who smacked Inside Edition's mic run for office when they were being fucking narcs about jumping the turnstile. So TMBS, well, I guess it's not our official policy because of you know various reasons, but TMBS is um, is uh, well, if TMBS did a segment on that, we would go and basically rate uh, hopping techniques mm -hmm. and uh, and and ask people about how they develop theirs, and then we might have a ten percent serious point where we talk to people like trying to get to a job that doesn't pay them enough to buy these overpriced fucking tickets because it isn't properly publicly funded. Yeah, taking their like hour and 25 minute journey into Manhattan. Yeah. Right. I have like, yeah. we would both have fun and compassion. Also acting like Times Square is some like holy site. Yeah. How dare Fuck anybody yeah, do it in <laughs> Times Square. One man brushed past an Elmo and didn't even take a photo before. <laughs> the only two times in the past like three years I've been at Times Square, I've been on acid. <laughs> The only time I ever go to Times Square is to do one of those like global TV hits, and that really adds to like it's like all right, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna, well, if it's like Al Jazeera, it's very serious. But if it's the I-24 one, it's like all right, I'm gonna argue with a fucking lunatic, and then I'm gonna stand in Times Square and wait for a car. <laughs> I should be on acid. You just enjoyed that Michael Brooks show video, and you can get a lot more by subscribing to us here at the Michael Brooks Show YouTube channel. It's literally right there.